Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to get started with OmniGen. In order to do so, first off, we're going to start by going to Google and search for OmniGen AI. Best way to get going here is just to start from the beginning and what you're gonna do is if you see, you're gonna find some options. We're actually looking for this one here that redirects to FAL.AI. If you click on that, then it's going to redirect us to the OmniGen site. Now, if you haven't signed up yet, we'll go ahead and show you how that works because I'm already signed up and this is just automatically logging in. But we can go ahead and up at the top right hand corner, if we just log out, then it's going to take you to this page and this is where you are most likely going to be getting started if you have not yet signed up with OmniGen. So what you're gonna to need to do is up at the top right hand corner, you can see here where it says get started, you can click on that. And then from here, it is going to ask you to either continue with GitHub or to continue with SSO. If you don't have an account yet, then you're going to need to sign up. So we can go ahead and click on that there. And because I've already signed up, this is going to bring us back to our dashboard. And from here, you can see that I have opened up OmniGen recently. And this is something where if you click, if you hover over this, it's not gonna necessarily gonna give you the option to click. You are going to need to click here. However, if you have not signed up yet, then what you're actually gonna need to do is you're first going to need to go to GitHub and sign up. So if you click that sign up button and you haven't signed up yet, then it's gonna redirect you to GitHub. And that's where you're going to need to set up your account. So we'll just show you really quick what that's like. So here on GitHub, you can see that it's gonna bring us here. We are already logged in. I'll just go ahead and log out just so that you have an idea of what this looks like. Go ahead and sign out. And then here is going to bring us to GitHub's main page. And you can see that you can either sign up for GitHub here. You can enter in your email. You can click sign up at the top right hand corner. We're gonna go ahead and do so. And here it's going to give you the option to sign up. So you're going to enter in your email. You're going to create a password. And once you've gone through that process, then you are going to be signed up for GitHub. And then you can use that to log in in order to access OmniGen. Once you have OmniGen open, then you will be met with this screen here. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be entering a prompt into the prompt page and then you can click run here at the bottom and that will begin to generate a result. This gives you an idea here of what to expect uh, with the prompt. They have here neon words, omnigens flashing in the prosperous future city, sense of science, and technology, quality details, hyper-realistic, high definition. All of this is good to take note of for your own prompts. Like if you wanted to just delete everything prior to quality details and let's say, um, we just want to do, let's go with a fantasy forest and just kind of keep it simple there. And then from there we can click run and it'll just take a moment to generate something for us. And this is a good time to specify that you do have credits with OmniGen. They are going to provide you a, a, a dollar worth of credits when you start and each generation is worth 20 cents. So just be aware of that. And if you are going to want more credits, then you can click this plus sign here and you can add more credits to your account so that you can get more generations. That's something to just be aware of with uh, OmniGen or with any other generator is that sometimes you're not going to get the result that you're looking for right 
uh, at front and sometimes you do need to try a few times in order to get a better result. That's just kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to AI generations. So you do need to be aware of that as a possibility. Uh, sometimes you might have other platforms that give you uh, free credits or are free entirely and it might be a good idea to practice a bit before you start using your own credits on a platform that uh, maybe has better quality but doesn't necessarily give you free unlimited generations. So our image has now finished generating and you can see the results here. They're pretty awesome. It's a beautiful looking fantasy forest here. It's got kind of an artistic quality and uh, it is uh, quite nice. So really nice results there with OmniGen and that gives you an idea of what it's capable of. That's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more helpful tips.